Hello, my name is Malin Sund, Editor Assistant for the BGS. We will be sending today from the Swedish Surgical Week. I will be interviewing Professor Peter Naredi, who is the chair of the Swedish Society. Professor Naredi, subspecialization in surgery is mainly organ-based today. You are the president of ESSO, the European Society for Surgical Oncology, and must believe that surgeons should speci specialize in surgical oncology. What is surgical oncology and why should surgeons spe specialize in surgical oncology? Thank you, Marlin. That is not an easy question to, to answer because we are in a period where we are, all surgeons are getting more, more organ-based, as you said. At the same time, surgery as a speciality is also much more multi-professional and multidisciplinary. If you treat a patient, you must know some oncology, you must know radio, you must have uh, some know-how about radiotherapy, uh, palliative care. So we are teams treating the patient and somebody has to lead that multidisciplinary team. That's where the role of surgical oncology come in. So we, we try to become good surgeons. Most of us are still organ based, but we also try to cover a wider, um, a wider field. So surgical oncology is not the speciality in Sweden, for example, but it's one of the six um, subspecialities that is being examined by UMES. So we have a core curriculum where we try to explain what a center who is teaching uh, in, medical, uh, in surgical oncology, what that center needs for facilities and uh, teachers. And we, in this course, also what a surgeon uh, should know in surgery, but also in basic science, uh, other oncology disciplines. Um, so, um, it's, it's like widening the surgical concept, not towards an organ, but more towards a thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in Sweden, uh, there's a national cancer plan, which has divided the country into six regional cancer centers. And this is in order to improve cancer care. Can you tell us about these centers and how they will affect the surgical community? Yeah, this is in, Sweden is rather late in getting a national cancer plan. And I think many were afraid that it would mean a very um, strong centralization. Uh, we, we have been working with these regional cancer centers for, for two years. Uh, surgeons are very active in this work. And this is because in Sweden, most cancer patients are actually treated by, they're seen and treated by surgeons. And the, the regional cancer centers are covering 10 criteria, all from Leading, the leading organizational structure of the, uh, these uh, RCCs, as we call them, um, to um, education, uh, patient um, care, uh, but also research, and uh, the, the organization, decentralization, what patients should come to our university hospital, what's, what patients could be uh, treated out at a smaller hospital or even in the, in, uh, with the, uh, by a GP. Well, um, to do this, uh, we have uh, got facilities, the video radiology. So we have multidisciplinary boards uh, all over northern Sweden now, as is being started up in most parts of Sweden. And we surgeons have experience in leading these m multidisciplinary boards. So it has become rather natural that we are both part of this organizing, um, uh, this so broader thinking about cancer care, but also more pragmatic in how we should deal with um, diagnostics and treatment via our multidisciplinary boards. So right now, I think surgeons are uh, leading many of these different committees in uh, RCC. We are also leading the, the what's coming closer to the patient, the care about the patient. Uh, and it's actually a good example of how, how you must know surgical oncology and not only be a, for example, rectal cancer surgeon or a, a HBB surgeon. You must understand how to, to, to lead this work. So at this uh, year's surgical week, uh, you had a plenary session about the future surgeon. What does this mean and why did you choose this as a theme for the society? 
uh, it's a very exciting theme because surgery in 10 years will not look as it's doing today. And if, if you, I would ask you, what does it look like in 10 years? It would not be the same you as mine or somebody else. At the same time, um, we must train people for, su for surgery in 10 years, in 15 years. So what are the key questions? We brought this theme up because maybe it's uh, a technology involvement ev uh, that we, we need uh, c computer scans down at the emergency wards. Maybe every cancer patient should go through a body MRI. We don't know, but we think we need to discuss at what level is the te technology uh, evolving and how are we going to catch up with it or stop it. The other key thing to me is the education of surgeons because even if we have a new residential uh, training program in Sweden since a couple of years it's based on a traditional thinking that we're all surgeons and after five years when we are specialists that's when we are, are um, uh, becoming subspecialists. But after five years you're not really a general surgeon, you have still had too little of too many things. So I think this theme has started up a discussion if we should change our, change our surgical education. Maybe uh, the common trunk that we always talked about a two-year period is a five-year period but during these five years you can start to subspecialize into something you're interested. Uh, and we need, we the senior surgeons, uh, we are interested in education. We need to, to set the platform so a young person who wants to become a surgeon uh, has a chance to see what or an ex know what they can expect for the next year and the next five years. Mm -hmm. This cannot be random because today I think there's a lot of frustration uh, when you are young and you want to become experienced because you feel that nothing is happening and when it's happening it's not really what you want it to happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, and f finally, in this concept, we are surgeons, so we need to have surgery as a core activity. We need time in the operational theatre. We need to feel that we are becoming good surgeons. Uh, and with all the other demands around it, uh, being a leader, uh, being able to have a good communication with patients, we also need to focus that we will be good craftsmen, good uh, surgeons. Thank you, Professor Naredi. Mm -hmm.